Alright, we are live. Welcome everybody back to the live stream here on the channel. Second episode, second sesh of uh, Assassin's Creed Origins with General Spear here. How's everybody doing today? Um, we are we're back in Siwa. I actually need to turn up my personal audio a little bit so I can actually hear the world around me through my headphones. Um, are we live? Yeah, we are live. Good. I'm just getting the on-air, off-air notifications. It's really weird. But anyways, guys, um, we are back in Siwa, obviously. And uh, we are going to go ahead and do some quests. And it looks like the only one that's left is, of course, to find the, uh, the false oracle, which is, you know, fantastic. Oh, Commander Watts, wonderful. Thank you. Um, so we are to find the Ibis. We're going to find and kill Madunanem. Because that is basically the only quest that we have available other than the side quest, which is the um, Bayex Promise. I'm not going to start that until after the mission or, or whatever. So that's going to be fine. What I think I want to do first, though, is I want to go to these other areas of the map. And I actually want to kind of go to the uh, the Coral area escarpment camp and see if we can test our strength if you will against the troops that are over there so let's go ahead and uh see if we can uh put our blade and skills to action all right i'm having loads of fun with this game loads and loads of fun Got some more pieces of my armor done. I'm going to be working on some uh, more videos tomorrow for that. And let's use Sinu's ability to see if we can find some soldiers. There's some soldiers there. There's the captain over that way. There it is. Are there any more? Maybe and probably. There's another thing over there. Not really worried about it all the, uh, at the moment. I guess I'm the only one on here. No, there's two people watching. I don't know who else it is. So it looks like... Looks like that's about it. I'm going to attract this person over here. Because stealth is going to be my friend here. A little bit of cashola. There we go. A little bit of headshot action there. Got the arrow back as well. Is there anybody up there? There might be. I'm going to go ahead as I'm going to go up here. I'm going to get the treasure. I'm also going to set a trap just in case they light the Brizar. <laughs> mm. 
That will work. Okay, good. I only got one of the guys. I think. Yes. That's exactly what I want. We're clearing out this camp pretty nicely. All right. Very nice. Okay, so let's go this way, and we're going to go ahead and go up to where this captain is up here, and just go right for him. But first... There we go, drop to that guy. And there we go. Got a predator bow, nice. So we cleared out this camp, pretty nicely done. Well, mostly, I still got that guy down there. Oh, there's no loot. There we go. Sweet. All right. Now let's go over this way and let's go ahead and see if we can get that treasure down here. All the good stuff. All the treasure, shall we? Looks like a natural in this game. Pretty much. I've been playing Assassin's Creed for a long, a long time. A long time. Alright, so. We have that treasure and that encampment done. Let's go ahead and snag the treasure over here. And then we can probably find some in the Temple of a Moon. Eventually, and then we're also going to do the uh, mission as well. Actually, the... Hmm... I want to do the loot, the loot the treasure down here. I might want to do that first and then do the mission. Which also, the mission, if I remember correctly, takes place also at the Temple of the Moon. So, we can pick up the treasure while we're there. So we're not wasting time. I think that's going to be the best way to go about doing it. I think that's going to be a good thing. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Oh, something I want to check. Chenzera, where were you? In a tomb. Were you scared? Of hyenas? No. I want to check this really quick because I can. I want to go to this. Info in settings, please. Monetization, please monetize. So I don't forget that. And save. Because one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to monetize previous... Uh, the previous stream, so that was nice and good. Not. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on to this uh, this treasure, and we might be able to get to level six at this point when we get this treasure up here, possibly. Can I not switch back and forth? There I go. I was like, why am I not able to switch back and forth between my weapons? It's a little weird. Let's 
There's a lot of loot in here. Ton of loot. Look at this. Yeah, I just broke down the door to my own home. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful sword. And yes, that has importance. Papa, you found it. Can I have it back? All right. How much toy, a quest item? We are level 6. All right. So let's go ahead and level up here. Well, actually, no. What we can also do is we can also get our bow, finally. Our predator bow. The copper arc. And this is better. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and dismantle this one. Get a little bit of wood out of this. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And dismantle this guy. All right, nice. Shields. A phalanx shield, nice. Probably gonna go ahead and equip that and just go ahead and hide this one. And what was the sword or sickle that we picked up? Sana Kopesh. Sword used to be Bayek's father's or used by Bayek's father to save a caravan in the lost desert. Interesting. Okay. Um, just hide that for right now. We'll keep it for uh, for sentimental reasons. I mean, this is better quality, but I like this one because of the poison on hit. Hello, Jake Derpy twenty two. Welcome to the stream. Our right, abilities. Now, let's see. Air attack, heavy charge, headshot, assassination XP. Um, tool kill. I'm going to go for assassination XP for that one. And then I'm going to go for probably charged heavy attack, I think. Yeah. That'll work. That will definitely work. Excellent. All right. So we can now switch our bows, which is very nice. The Predator bow, as I said in the last stream, basically is kind of the, um, the sniper rifle of the bows. Very, very powerful. Very nice accuracy. Just an all-around fantastic weapon. All right, let's go ahead and go down to loot the treasure down here at the Oracle Offerings. I kind of like that idea. Do, 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 do. I'm going to mount a camel. While we can. I love how everything looks so real. It's insanity. Can't wait to see if my character made it to the pool. There are a ton of characters. There's a lot. Um take care. CUI is a dangerous place. It is rather insanity. Or excuse me, it's rather insane. God, this game is so gorgeous. I was talking with some friends earlier. 
we were talking about games like, you know, For Honor and uh, Far Cry and, you know, other games that were made by Ubisoft. And I, I remarked that, you know, I being, you know, kind of more along the lines of, you know, doing Assassin's Creed, I said that this one was probably the best one that they've done in, you know, several years. Because they took the time. They weren't churning out a game every... You know, every so often. Every few years kind of deal. Oh, we can craft something, which is nice. Let's go ahead and open that up and actually craft something here. What can we craft? We can do... Oh, we can do a stabilizer glove. That will be good. Hey, Spear, how many requests did you receive for the Halo mod series? Quite a few, actually. Quite a few. I... I I'm gonna be honest, I kinda lost count. So there's one there. There's another there. There's another there. Okay. Hello, Ryan Simpson. Welcome to the stream. All right, so. Into the deep. Into the deep. 75 to 150? Eh, probably. More or less. I'm gonna have to redo this. Oh, there's somebody there. Oh, that's right, we go in from this side. Right. Just keep swimming. Uh. Nice, we got a new warrior bow. I like it. New shield. All right, another shield there. Have you considered doing a Halo playthrough of Stellaris? I have, actually. All right. That went pretty darn well. All right. So... I think the last thing that I want to do is I want to go to the synchronization point. And then I'm going to do the mission. But yes, I have considered doing a um, Halo playthrough of Stellaris. I'm actually considering... I'm considering doing that for my next Stellaris series. Hello, Boss M. Welcome to the stream. See, now people are joining. All right. Cruising across the lake. Do 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 Okay. So we're going up to the synchronization point. There's also a mod that is perfect updated for that is perfect updated for 2.0 and it's compatibility patch for some mods and additional ships. Ooh. I might have to check that out. It won't be now, but I might have to check that out. Oh, hello. You're dead. You're mine. 
All right, so how do I get up this cliff? I think it's over that way. The sand. All of the sand. You should do a video. You should do a video when you get almost... When you, when you get the, or almost all the Spartans done showing some of them. I could. Oh, oh, oh. What, what's going on? Hyenas. Where's all the hyenas? It's on Steam, FYI. Oh, I know it is. I want to make the spear that Bayek has. I've actually been going through some of various videos today on various people that have made uh, uh, props, spear props, basically. Um, and I want to make my own and sell it on Etsy. Be like, hey, I, uh, I make some spears because my last name is Spear. I'm wondering if that was the case, like, if the original, if the original, uh, the naming thing, you know, like, you know how the, like, the last name of a Smith has to do with the fact that, you know, Smith was a, um, a professional last name? I wonder if Spear was the same thing. If they made Spears, which they could have, I don't know. I am not exactly sure, but it'd be interesting to find uh, to to learn that. I am basically Tom cruising this cliff. But yeah, uh, the last name is Smith. One of the reasons why it's so popular in the world um, is because. Smith was a professional last name, uh, you know, because the the uh, short name for uh, for blacksmith was Smith. Um, the only video game that I have come across that actually uses this as a last name kind of thing, or that uses that that um, term, is in um, what is it, Lord of the Rings: War in the North. Uh, at the very beginning, basically, uh, when you're tasked with actually uh, fixing a trinket, a uh, met metallic trinket, you actually address the blacksmith as Smith. How about Kingdom Come? Uh, possibly. I'm not sure if Kingdom Come Deliverance does that. I would hope that they do, but I'm not exactly sure. I am not exactly sure in the slightest. I mean, I could be wrong, but, you know... But, uh... You never know. Alright, we're gonna provide do this leap of faith, and this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, man, that's a deep fall. That would definitely kill you. Absolutely. Gonna do the zip line though. Oh, zip lighting, that's so much fun. I actually I've actually done zip lighting in real life and it is loads and loads of fun. Absolutely. Lands on a rock. Ah, oh, you're terrible. Okay. I think we are ready to do this quest, to take care of the Ibis. Thank you, Ryan Simpsons, for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night as well. All right. Let us go ahead and do this quest to kill the Ibis.
the Ibis. Uh, they will attack on sight here. There he is. There he is. All right, so this is going to be both stealth. Wait a minute. Oh God! Please don't. Ha! Trying to ha! There! Please don't. <laughs> don't get me. Okay. I'm still breathing. Still alive. Where did that other spearman go? Did I did I get the guy? Oh yeah, I got the guy. I got this loot, maybe. I should probably do this. Where's the treasure? There's the treasure in there. Are there any guards? I mean, there are a few over there. They're kind of all over that way. Let's go get this treasure in here. You saw nothing, says Spear. Kills guy for looking. Uh, yeah, more or less. That's that's pretty much the case. Okay. Let's get the treasure. There we go. Some crystal. Ooh. I'll take all my some of that. Alrighty. So. Let us continue forward. First off. There are people in my way. But. I have an idea on how to dispatch of them. So this is the predator bow. Nothing gets through. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of arrows. Okay, come at me then. I can fix all your problems in a snap. Oh god. Okay, that that took a lot of concentration. <laughs> that took a lot of concentration. <laughs> One boy. Papa? Yep. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. So we have pretty much taken care of the Ibis, but we, um,. We have unlocked a much bigger web than what we know at this point. Maxwell Harris, no, not Maxwell Harris. Ah, hey, one, more, one, more. Uh, one year ago. Hey. Well, I can try. This way, I'll get two. 
<laughs> sure. Well? Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. Go, go. Oh, you made me miss, you. <laughs> <laughs> come, come here. I found a Haney cave. A real one? Yes. Ah, go ahead. So this is Chaimo. There's like 16 hyenas, and they're so dark and scary. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? All right. <laughs> come, come. So, yeah. The plot... The, 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 this... Hunting? The Oracle wants the pelt of an Ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the Pharaoh. Won't you buy it? You're the Magi. When I'm Magi, I'll stand next to the Pharaoh. You'll never be Magi. You're too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? Shut up. Enough, you two. The sand is so hot on my feet. Sometimes they light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> I want my feet to light on fire. <laughs> so yeah, th there's a lot that's gonna happen in these upcoming scenes here. Um, that kind of give the backstory as to what happened with Bayek and where he's at now. So this is kind of the, the looking at the past year of what happened prior. Which I actually kind of like how they did that. Because we've heard throughout so far in the previous session about this this uh, person named Kaimu in uh, Bayek's life. And we weren't exactly sure who he was. Or at least for those that uh, had not known previously. But we're about to get very soon... A reason for it's his seeking a vengeance. Can I come? <laughs> hey, your mother's waiting for you. All right. See you at the ceremony, Hamu. Bye, Chanzura. The herd is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. Which one is he? Big, with giant horns. Do what I do. There he is. Senu, Senu, come to me. Why are you calling Senu? Chanzero told me I should steal his feathers so that my wedding ceremony gets me to the field of reeds. <laughs> Anubis weighs your heart against a feather. You cannot tamper with this weighing ceremony. It is sacred. Ah! Oh, oh no! I scared them! <laughs> it's okay. A more time for us to spend together. Enjoy the journey. Stay with me. We can do it together. Okay. Hey, this is my favorite part. Stay low. They will spot us unless we become like Amun, the god of hiddenness. Yes, Papa. We are the hidden one. See? My eyes and hand. Hit! Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. Let us get that belt. Alrighty. We'll take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. <laughs> you can. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine. All my arrows are Senus. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. That's a scary you thought, actually. Like see the Pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. History lesson for you but all. Now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never go up to be a Magi? Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave. But sometimes it's hard. Hold on. Let's go this way. When I was about your age. Sometimes I got scared too. 
Your grandfather was a well-known Magi. And he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. What did he say? I will tell you once we are there. Yep. So, a little quick history lesson for you all uh, is that, uh, and this is something that is actually pretty cool about, you know, the fact that, you know, this is Assassin's Creed Origins and whatnot, is that the Medjai were actual, uh, they were actually the guardians of peace and justice. They were actual people, they were an organization, they were people that trained for years in all sorts of. Uh, different combat and and um, and uh, techniques and whatnot and fighting techniques and just all different sorts ranged melee you name it um, and these people by Pharaoh which the the you know the the law of the land to provide justice and peace for the for all intents and purposes the lawmakers of the day and of course you know with the history of pharaoh and the culture of egypt these people were essentially appointed by the equivalent of god um or the gods of egypt which was extremely extremely important um so Bayek, in terms of this being a fictional character, he is quote unquote being as the last of the Medjai. Um, and uh, he he basically is put in a perfect position to fill out the uh, the storyline of the assassins to be the first leader of the assassin order. Um, he is much older and less brash than the other uh, assassins that we've seen in the past games. Uh, he's actually rec he's reckoned to be like you know at least a third you know at least a third to maybe even twice the age of a lot of the other assassins that we've seen upon first hand. So like Altair, Ezio, yada yada, you know, the so on and so forth. He's already a man who has seen much in his days. Um, so, he's pretty fantastic. Weren't they also tomb guards? Yes, um, at one point in time, they were also appointed with being tomb guards as well. Um, so, even though this is a very much a fictional game in terms of the story, there is many, many historical elements, of course, being with Bayek's character of being a Magi. So, it's really, really cool from that aspect. Let's continue the story. What did your father say? Jump. You don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. You trust me. You can. I do. I will. Uh, jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Ah! Oh, shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shanjira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Chanjira will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go. Now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say. Please. Go! Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. You said you only wanted to talk to him! Do 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 
you do. Come. Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. Oh, God. So, yeah, we're not necessarily meant to defeat those guys. I don't think. I mean, it'd be pretty impressive if we were able to defeat them. But I don't think we're meant to. I was not, definitely not able to the first time playing it. Yeah, they are technically Greeks. The Romans didn't have not... I mean, the Romans might have arrived by this point, but the Make Greeks were very much in control of Egypt. Because the Ptolemies were technically Greek. Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. So now we're following this masked man, known as the Immortal. Or, he is one of several masked men known as the Immortals. We are pleased you have joined us, Medjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The temple priests stubbornly refuse to assist us. You are perhaps reluctant out of loyalty to the Oracle. We have someone to help convince you otherwise. Yeah, that's definitely Greek armor. Magi! There's a Final Fantasy 15 game reference uh, reference in this game. Yes, there is. Come along. Oh, there's Chaimu. So, for those of you that have not seen any game footage on this game, you're about to find out why Bayek has vengeance. See that no one comes in. Are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of this! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? We believe we need this to enter the vault. The, 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 this is a waste of time! The boy is frightened. It's all right. Papo, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use this. As measure, you must have some clue of clear legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of this! The final has been aroused. He insists. He will be discovered. Quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. It's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. What? No! Hemu, don't! They're going to hurt us. Hemu, they... Hemu! This foolish waste of time! Hemu! Hemu! Out of time! Tell us! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. He Stop. will never know the afterlife. Uh. No, no, no. I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. Will tell. No, no, no. no. for time. What's this? Stop. This is madness. The snake takes that as your answer. Yeah! No! 
And that is why. Oh, man. There are a lot of sad moments in this game. We thought you were dead. You could not even save your own son. You are no one. By yek of nothing, father to nobody! <laughs> <laughs> May the hidden one greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. So that was a very long flashback. Um, but um, an important one, definitely. Um, a very, very important one because it kind of sets up the, the, you know, the rest of the story more or less. I forget that the Spartans were, uh, were Greek or no, um, the Spartans, uh, they were Greek, but they were definitely their own society in many ways. That seemed more Templar than Assassin. In many ways, Our yes. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its Magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are certain you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? I like Hetzifa. I like how we have just one arrow in our quiver. Uh, so the Ibis is dead. Now, if memory serves... Are there any other... There are other... There is another quest here. But I think... Yeah, that's the one where we're ready to actually leave. So yeah, the Ibis is dead. Egypt invented beer and it was actually used to as currency. Yep. All the alcohol you consume, thank the Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and actually apply this next point here. We're going to go ahead and do air attack because that's a good idea. And then we have, of course, the Oracle's Relic, which, of course, we know as the Apple. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and leave uh, and leave Siwa. As soon as I do some stuff here, we have the uh, Atigius, or whatever the name of this shield is. I'm just going to dismantle that and dismantle this guy. Get a little bit of bronze action out of that. And we'll go ahead and dismantle this warrior bow. I don't really use warrior bows, but that's a thing. So but what's, your, what's your favorite type of music? I like, I like multiple different types. I like jazz. I like rock. I like classic rock, that's for sure. Can you go on your map and look at the 23 area, please, before I head off? The 23 area? What? This one? 
Memphis? There's multiple areas that are like in the 20s. Uh, yeah, Kiva, I already, I, I know already what you're talking about. A gift from the gods. I already know what it is. And I know that it's a quest thing you need to be, like, a pretty significant level in order to be able to do. But I do already know about it. So, even though there are items still here... Oh, we didn't loot all the treasure? What? That's a little ridiculous. I guess we'll have to fix that at some point. I'm not going to fix that now. But, um, I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to do... The quest. Are you ready? It is a long journey. Yes, I'm ready. I can return later. Because I, I have fast travel well. unlocked. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And Bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. All right. So, that is Siwa. More or less. Oh, shit. Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Oh, yes, this bit. Try to don't play trying to play there. Rise of the Tomb Raider when you don't have gear in certain areas. <laughs> yep, I know that problem all too well. Layla? Layla. <laughs> Come on back. Layla, are you with me? Happy I told you not to call me that. Thing is the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest to Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not going to be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. Dun, dun, dun. I don't care. Cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. <laughs> All I right. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. Do we I get back in the Animus now? On. There we go. Yes. We go turn to the Animus. This is so badass. Be careful. Abstergo? Oh, yes. Abstergo is back. You didn't think they left, did ya? They are the ones that started this whole thing. If you think about it. They did build the Animus, after all. And the ability to do gene projects. I'm gonna get myself some Oreos. Little dessert. 
Oh yeah. <sighs> Wait, you're a chick getting memories? I thought you were a dude. Well... Okay, so the story is that this is a chick that is working on trying to do stuff for the Abstergo project or whatever, the Animus project and yada yada yada. There's the title screen finally, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, the, so, and she is researching Bayek. For whatever reason, I do not know, but that is the, uh, that is the whole thing. Protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. All right. So, sorry about that. I was getting a, a cookie there for a moment. Double stuff Oreos. Frickin' the best. The Hidden Ones quest is open. Why? Why are these opening? I'm not even ready for a lot of these. That year ought to be 48 BC, not BCE. Well, technically... Here's the thing. It's technically, uh, if I remember correctly, it's technically both. But BC is before Christ. BCE is before the Common Era. If I remember my history lessons correctly. Which I very well could not be at this time of night. We'll see. Um, six days left? Why am I getting this kind of a time quest? Oh man. Trial of the gods, my foot. I want to do these quests. I've not done these quests yet because I've. I would have get my butt kicked each time I tried to do it. Um. But. I can't do it. I'm way too freaking low of a level. Way too low. Alright. Well, first off, we're going to go in the map. So, we are in Ement Gnome. This is Siwa over here. Oh, and by the way, that's uh, the Trial of Anubis happening now. Why is it happening now, when I'm so far off from, like, level 40? Why is that a thing? There's the gift from a god- or a gift from the gods. As, uh, Kiba the Barbarian was, uh, talking about earlier. Here's the trial of Solbeck. Freaking can't believe it. Him coming deliverance will actually flunk players for not finishing or ignoring quests. Yes. It will indeed. Hello, Ashley. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. Go to this uh this waypoint over here. Oh yeah, there's the pyramids over there. There's a bandit cave down here. Hey, hey. Hi. Your time has come. Die, idiot. 
I'm gonna run for a bit. Yes, that was a mirage. Well, that sucked. What? Whoa. Eat this, you shit. The terror tapping. I'm hot at Neverwhere. All right. Hey, wait. Hey, stop. All righty. Is that everybody? What year did Skyrim come out? I actually don't remember. Oh, oh, I'm on fire. I am on fire. Oh, good. First death in the game. And I freaking catch on fire. That's just, that's great. <laughs> I'm gonna have another cookie because it'll make me feel better in that, in that way. You know. So there's one dude down. There's another dude. I basically have to pick these guys off. Oh yeah. I got that arrow back. Good. Got that arrow back. Oh, what? Come here. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that was really, really weird. No, Sinu. I don't need you at the moment. Give me all the loot. Dual swords. Okay, don't mind if I do. Are right, we cleared out that post? Have you played For Honor? I actually have, and uh, for all of about twenty minutes, because when it, I, I played it when it first came out, and it was at the time period in which I could basically only get on for it on for the game to only kick me off. 30 seconds or so after logging in. Which was just great. Um... That was just... It was just lovely. Actually, um... Where's, um... I want Fang. Here's Fang. Look at that. 
Where's Brandon Fraser when you need when you need him around? Oh yes. Oh, there we go. My headphones fit a little bit better on my uh my head. Whoa. Okay, so we did that. Find and kill the perpetrators. I don't really want to at the moment. That's a six to eight location, but I would kind of want to take care of this guy first. Look at that horse armor there. That's menacing. It's pretty fantastic, though. God, I love this game. I really do. I have seriously, though, uh, Jake Derpy, to, I've seriously thought considering taking and getting back for honor, but probably doing it for the PS4 because it's apparently a little bit more stable than the version for PC. At least that's what I've heard. I'm not exactly 100% sure if that is the case. But it's something that has interested me. No! I didn't want to do that! PC has dedicated surfers now. Oh! Well... That's not bad, actually. I might get it for PC, then. We'll see. If it ever goes on a steam sale... Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me! I did it again! What are those? Did the horse, like, just poop? I think the horse just pooped. If that's the case, then I've never seen that happen in this game. There we go, finally! All right. Fast travel unlocked. Very nice, very nice. Okay. First off, let's go to our stuff here. Yeah, I'll get rid of this guy. That's a heavy blade. Tempting! Very tempting! I'm gonna keep it for right now. That's fine. And then... The bow... It's a light bow. Extra fire. Nah! Again, I kinda stick with either hunting or predator bows. Those just happen to be, like, really, really good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do... I'm gonna go ahead and appear and do these side quests. Because I can. Let's ride to the area. Whoa. What? was that That was like crazy Are there any actual combat bows in the game? Yes, there's a warrior bow. That's pretty much the combat bow. 
more or less. There's the, there's the, it go, there's go, it goes like this. There's the hunting bow, there's the predator bow, there's the light bow, there's the warrior bow. I'm trying to remember if there's a fifth one or not. I don't think there is, but I could be wrong. Okay. Look at all this greenery right near the freaking desert. Only in Egypt. Well, actually, no, I say that, and there might actually be other locations that do that. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. Alrighty. It's the River Nile for you, pretty much. Will not you accompany me? Sekhmet favors the generous. Magi, help me, I will pay you. What do you need? Last night. My dear husband Claudius took a boat out to see the ruins across the lake. He has not returned. None of these brutes honor a wife's pain. I beg you! I will seek him out. Do be quick. I will await you here. Sounds good. No. There we go. Okay. So we're going to need a boat. Why does she look drunk? I don't know. Maybe it's the beer that they invented. All right. So let's go out here. Now, if I remember correctly, this man that we come across, uh, come upon is very drunk. Yeah, I think he's very drunk. Water looks great. Yes, it does. And here is Claudius. I... I you? Claudia can talk? Only something new from... Why are you so angry? Stupid crocodiles. Oh, oh gods. I think I'm going to... Oh, oh. So, yeah, uh, he's very, very drunk. Hey, you! Hello! Stay where you are! Dear God. Are dead. 
Okay. Speak to Claudius and find out why he came out here. That was um that was a little crazy. Why did you kill them? We had only just met. Claudius, you are drunk. <laughs> yes, that is me. And no, I am not. I had only two or ten beers. <laughs> All right. Let's get you back to your wife. I have a wife? Oh, mother will be so pleased. This guy's weird. Please get on the boat. I don't want to have to fish you out of the lake here. Of Fayum. At least I think we're in Fayum. No, we're not in Fayum. Fayum is to the south. Um... Yeah, fam is down here. This up here is Lake Merotus. Oh, he's what pissed drunk. Oh, yes, he is. I was going. Oh, I do not really remember. I came from Alexandria for the festival, and some kind of uh, person. Someone offered me to drink all night uh, for free. Impossible to res resist. What were we talking about? No, it's Link How drunk. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, right. Then I woke up here with those crocodiles all around. Tell me, can they really speak? Egypt is a land full of magic and ancient mystery. <laughs> Amazing. My friends in the city will never believe it. Did you say something about a wife? Uh, yes, yours. See, I do not understand that. How could I have a wife? I am a virgin. At least I think I am. <laughs> I will hear no more on this subject. You can take it up with your wife. But you do not understand. Every woman I've ever tried to... Please, shut up. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Oh. This fresh wind off the river is good for me. I am feeling much more clear-headed now. Good. Splendid. There you are, my dear. I was worried about you. Oh, my dear Nisus. I remember I went to the island because of her. She, she got me drunk, married me, told me I owed her a virginity tax. Whose virginity? You can go. This is between me and my husband. No, 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 don't, don't go. They'll kill me. Show him what happens when you try to cheat a woman. Please, help me. Forget him. He's just an idiot. They have taken him. Oh, go! <laughs> my brothers! You have slain my brothers! You were supposed to help me, not him! Well, woman? Praise and thanks. You saved my life and my purse. In future. Be careful when drinking with strangers. Ancient world scammers. Yeah, pretty much. Honest to God, pretty much they are weird ancient world scammers. That was still a thing. In that day. The Book of the Dead. Could do that one next. And I think we shall. But I kind of want to get the sink point up here first. It'd be an idea, as I silently burp into the mic. <laughs> oh, man. I do hope people that are enjoying this. I, I really hope so. Oh! 
I will probably do a live stream tomorrow, and then, um... It might be... It might be either Friday or Saturday in which I do another live stream of, um... Of this. This is... This is a lot of fun! This is a lot of fun. I mean, I've already played this game through pretty much almost all the way through. Oh, and I gotta figure out those damn papyrus scrolls. I might do that in my own campaign and figure out where they are. Not this one. Well, I will. I mean, I will figure it out for this one, of course, but I want to learn it from my own and my other save. I'll go ahead and do this quest over here. And I think we'll call it a stream after this. Because I'm getting tired. No and my voice a little raspy. No one has seen my book. Have you seen my book of the dead in your travels, Magi? I went all the way to Memphis to buy it. No. How was it lost? Bandits. They came from the dunes nearby. When the leader saw how I cared for the book, he wrenched it from me. I thought my heart would stop. I can help. I do not fear them. I have been praying for someone like you. That book will unite me with my wife's spirit. Later, hey, Maxwell Harris. Father. Thank you for we stopping by. But I appreciate it. Is helping me. Oh, yes? You are going to find his book? If by some miracle you do. Thank you. All right. Move. Move. Did you hear where the bandits meant to go? Oh, I... Uh, the leader told the others to meet him at the necropolis, I think. We live nearby. I am not going home until I... Feng, you weren't supposed to gone. break the people's stuff. You will find mother in the field of reeds without it. You, you honestly weren't supposed to break the people's stuff. That's not the objective here, okay? These guys, fine. But not the people's, okay? Just just leave it at that, will ya? <laughs> uh, the really cool thing is... We have the ability... To basically do, um... Auto travel. Hey, Paul Baker. Welcome to the stream. The last little bit of it. So I'm basically more or less doing auto run right now. I'm not touching any controls, except for like the camera movement and whatnot. It's about it. There we go. I should be cautious around here. Yeah, I should. Especially Whoa. given that they nailed me the last time. Where are these bandits? Where are these bandits? Wait, are the bandits dead? The bandits might very well be dead. Here is the book of the dead. Becca will be pleased. All right. Very, very cool. Past five in the morning for you. Turn the book to the old man. Oh God, Fang! <laughs> Fang, where'd you go? Thought you could steal from me? Is it stealing if you rob a thief? I took it for my father. Rawr! Eat this! Whoa. 
That'll work. I was actually not expecting that to work so well. Let's take this horse, go back. Where's Fang? Oh, yeah. That stupid horse. As cool as he is, he was a little, uh, a little derpy with the flames. Oy vey. Do do do. Do do do. We're racing back. Alright. Okay, we're out of your way. We're ahead of you. We're gone. Goodbye. Goodbye, Charlie. Alright. <laughs> what about a little derpy? Fang! My horse! Not the one that I was on, but, you know, let's... He, he, he had a little problem with some flames, okay? He kicked up some dust and some smoke. He didn't do too well. As your father left us. His good life is over. He was too weak to live till you return. May he be conducted in peace. He was in despair that his car would not join my mother's. Where is his body? It is not too late. You are a blessing from the gods. He receives the rites in the small temple. Bring the book to the old man. <laughs> That we can do. Side. All right, the Book of the Dead completed. Very nice. We have leveled up. Let's go ahead and level up while I still remember to do so. And, um, what should we choose? There's Headshot, which gives us extra XP, which is not a bad idea. There's adrenaline. I kind of like the headshot XP. Yeah. I kind of like that. What do we got for quests next? We got a bunch. Ambush at the temple. We have Aya. Of course, is a level 10 quest. I think we're good. I think we're good to go for the next uh, session uh, tomorrow at some point. It'll probably be a lot of side quests, more than likely. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this stream. I know I did. Uh, feel free, as always, to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. Oh, that's a perfect shot right there. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, may the force be ever in your favor.